Hey guys, what's going on? Dominic here, Media Glitch. We're at Albuquerque Comic Con and I am talking with the legendary Michael Dorn, AKA Worf. How are you doing, sir? Just fine. That's great. Sir, I am a huge Star Trek fan, of course. And there's a couple questions I just wanted to ask you. Um, was it intimidating for you to be part of such a huge, not just sci-fi television series, but cultural phenomenon, you know, so many years after the fact? How did you land into that? Uh, it wasn't uh, intimidating. It was a uh, it was a, a job. It okay. Was a good job. Oh yeah. But it was definitely was a job, and happy to be working. Loved the original show, so I was happy to be part of it. But it wasn't intimidating at all. Awesome. You just uh, I think anybody any any, any of us who were Star Trek fans weren't intimidated by getting the job. It's just okay. Let's just try to do the best we can so we don't get fired or something. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. You had tons of makeup on. Yes. And Worf is a very physical character. Yes. How difficult was it to be not only doing combat training and in a costume, but then in tons of makeup? Well, the makeup wasn't as confining. It just, you know, facial expressions were a little difficult because anything that you did that's crazy, the, the beard would come off or, you know, those type of things or the edges would show. So right. you had to be very sort of stoic in the face. but. I mean, I've been an athlete my whole life, and so it, it was not a problem at all. It was very easy for me to get into physicalness, and I love stunts, so. Awesome, awesome. So, okay, J.J. Uh, Abrams seems to have kind of like rebooted the original series universe, and I know alternate universes can still exist, so it doesn't mean the TNG universe is gone, but if they did decide to reboot and recast TNG Wharf or Deep Space Nine Wharf. Who would you think could fill your shoes? I mean, it's a tall order. Mm, I don't think anybody could. <laughs> so good. So no. good. Okay, uh, so what was your favorite Star Trek moment as far as either behind the camera or favorite episode, part of the filming, anything? It doesn't even have to be Worf specific, but just something that you really, really enjoyed about the series, your time on it. Uh, you know, it, the seven years on Next Generation were, uh, I consider that, one experience because it was amazing for seven years. I mean, you just you just can't imagine what it was like to be on a show where everybody loved each other and we all were very funny and we had a great time. Uh, it just was. I I kind of use that as a moment, right? And not any particular moment because there's so many. Right. There's just so many. I mean, Deep Space was different. I think that um, I was involved in two of the best Klingon episodes ever in Star Trek, which was uh, Once More Into the Breach and The Soldiers of the Empire. Yeah. I thought they, those two were fantastic. Written by Ron Moore, yeah. who's a fantastic writer. So uh, so that that's what I come away with. Awesome. We uh, we interviewed your brother Kern mm -hmm. at Santa Fe Comic Con, and he's a really great guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. Do you, do you keep in touch with him at all? Uh, you know what? I see him occasionally. And although we're not... Oh, I see him occasionally, and although we're not, you know, we don't communicate all the time. He's a, is a wonderful actor, and I've always thought that his portrayal was was equal to anybody that we've had on the show to, be, to as a Klingon. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got to ask this: the nerd in me wants to ask. You're here, Peter Mayhew's here, so Chewbacca, Commander Worf. It's it, this is going to be a nerd this question, is isn't it? I've had it super out nerd in my mind question. Over the years, but I Who would win? You, I know where my money's at, sir. Uh, well, he's got a gun. Yeah. And he could he could hit me from a long distance. Right. But close in, I take out my bat lift and I'll start slicing. Yes. So. That's so good. Okay. Well, sir, thank you so much. I got something for you for uh, doing this. Sorry. Oh. Made these for you. you can Assimilate this. Yeah. Best line. Assimilate this. Yes. So good. Cool. Michael Dorn, uh, is there anything coming up? or Where can we find you online or anything that's happening with you? Well, there's uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter. Facebook and Twitter. And uh, we are two projects that are coming up. One is a science fiction show oh. that we're trying to do. Yeah. And the other is um, uh, I'm doing a flying uh, okay. pilot awesome. that I'd love to do. So those are two things I'm pitching right now. Great. Awesome. Cool. Mike Dorn, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Absolutely.